Over the past couple of days, Tommy Ennett and Logan Paul have gotten into some drama that I didn't even notice until just yesterday when Tommy Ennett had posted a video that I found to be absolutely hilarious that I felt like I had to actually talk about it finally because at first I wasn't even actually going to talk about it in any way whatsoever because it just was just a bunch of series of tweets that everyone already knew was really fucking stupid but then Tommy uploaded a really funny video basically parroting the entire like thing with Logan and Lunchly and, and KSI and all that stuff. I, it was just really funny so I feel like I had to talk about it. So for me it really started when I saw Tommy in it upload a video a couple of days ago uh, a few days ago actually when he talks about how he thought YouTube had changed a lot and he basically just goes over the fact that he talked to a bunch of creators and um, he asked them a bunch of questions and he was basically just trying to pick their brains about what they perceive YouTube to be as nowadays and he also talked a lot about the way the platform is with YouTube and I thought it was a really good video because I think it goes through a lot of stuff that I have actually been thinking about in YouTube in the past, you know, few years as well. And the fact that there are just a bunch of content creators who are just solely focused on the idea that they need to make the most viral content possible and the content that they're making isn't actually anything that they're actually enjoying making. Whereas 10 years ago when people were making content, they were making videos simply because they were just having the fun of it. They thought it was fun. They thought it was super entertaining. They had passion for it. But nowadays it just sort of feels like a lot of creators are making content that they simply have no passion for. And you can see that by just looking at a bunch of videos like on like a random homepage on like a brand new account. And so many videos just look so similar that they don't look unique and different from one another. And it's just, it's, it's such a shame considering what the YouTube platform used to look like years ago. And then Tommy in it on his Twitter account then posted a screenshot of podcast episode that Logan did. I think it was actually the episode that he did with Donald Trump. And in the video, he actually talks about the Gaza conflict. And within this segment of the video, it looks like that he actually is promoting Prime and that the whole podcast is promoted by Prime, but that makes sense considering that he owns percentage share of the company and is one of the two predominant faces of the brand. And yeah, that's pretty fucking awful that he decides that at this segment of the video, that's when he's going to decide that he wants to decide to promote Prime. And obviously that's really bad considering that he's talking about the Gaza conflict, which is a subject that needs to be taken very seriously because a lot of people are dying. A lot of terrible things are going on there. And that is not really the best time to promote your brand and promote your shitty drink because you're talking about something that is very serious and needs to be taken very serious. So Tommy and it rightfully calls him out on it. There's pretty much nothing else to say about that other than the fact that Logan had responded to this and it was a day later and he just replies with, with private messages between the two of them. And I don't know why Logan thought this was the best way to do this to go about responding to tommy and its tweet i don't know why he thought that responding with a private message was the way to go about it because i mean honestly if you look if you read the messages tommy and it just seems like a really like nice guy and i will get into it a little bit with the future tweet that logan makes earlier or later sorry and in the tweets it's basically just i think this was last year i mean it is last year because you can see the date but i think it was last year when logan had his boxing match and Tommy is, uh, is like rooting for him in his match and saying that he won and that he destroyed him. And then he, he then is asking Logan if they can meet up eventually and he can ask him a couple of questions. Tommy then responds to this saying, If the same week I had a daughter, I also lost to a beef with Tommy in it, I would kill myself. So he's basically just he's basically just roasting the shit out of Logan saying, Yeah, in this beef between the two of us, that isn't that he doesn't really take very seriously. He had already lost it. Logan then responds saying, uh, Tommy's lashing out because I've been neglecting him. Sorry, I didn't chill with you, buddy. And he just responds with even more private messages between the two of them. And it's just Tommy and it trying to find a proper time where they can meet up between the two of them. And he can ask him a couple of questions because that's something that Tommy has been trying to do for a while now. He's just been trying to get in contact with some content creators just to ask them a couple of questions because, well, I mean, like I said, he had posted a video where he says that he's been talking to some creators and presumably Presumably, that's just something that he had been trying to do with Logan, and Logan kind of has just completely been ditching him the entire time. And of course, Logan is probably a very busy guy, but he doesn't actually ever tell Tommy that he's too busy to meet up with him, and that there's just not enough time, and that 
like, hey, he doesn't respond to him like, hey, I'm a little busy right now. I'm going to be busy for a little while. But if I find an opportunity where I'm not that busy, I'll hit you up in DMs and et cetera, et cetera. He just never actually gives Tommy an actual response. And then Logan also like privates the responses onto the tweets. So no one can actually reply to his tweets anymore. Lately turned them off. Tommy replies, why do you keep posting private messages of me being kind to you? Are you stupid? And then people in the replies and this one has just they're completely roasting Logan. Omni replies with a fucking image of Dalsam from Street Fighter. Someone says, if we're pulling up old stuff then, and then it's obviously Logan in a suicide forest. Logan responds, because you beg me for attention offline and run to Twitter when I don't acknowledge you. Another fake internet kid. This gets community noted of all fucking things, which I thought was really funny. And the, and the community notes says, Tommy and it did not run to Twitter because Logan ignored him. Tommy posted a screenshot of an impulsive video where Logan can be seen advertising Prime during a Gaza conflict segment. Tommy then replies jokingly saying, wow, you caught me red-handed. And that's pretty much where it ends there until the next day. Tommy then tweets out saying, you man child, leave me alone. And it's basically just Logan. It's it's a screenshot of Logan trying to contact privately with Tommy in it saying, uh, call me back. I think we should handle this like adults and you know if, if logan really wanted to handle this like adults he should have contacted him privately in the first place instead of just making the first tweet where he just shows private messages between the two of them if that's really how he wanted to handle it that's how he should have handled it in the first place and then later i didn't even see this tweet initially that tommy had made uh where he posts a screenshot of logan trying to contact him the tweet that i saw first was Tommy posting a tweet saying, now I know this might come off hypocritical after the past day, but I also have my own product to announce I've been working on for a year or two now, introducing the Tommy Edit Vape by Vapely. And he links to a video, and the video is basically just him making a joke, right? It's an entire like parody video of him promoting this new thing that he made, and it's a vape, and obviously stuff about vapes is that it has nicotine in it, and he's poking fun, right? He's poking fun at Dream and like this like wristband thing that has like old pictures of uh, of himself on it, Prime and Mr. Beast's feastables, and he's just he's poking he's poking fun. So it just I just found it very funny. And the comments, I, I you see a bunch of people in the comments replying to this. Like uh, Dr. Mike actually left a comment on the video saying that his medical response is now live, which is really funny because that's what he did with Lunchly and then yeah the whole joke is that uh, like Tommy in it is calling it Vapely which looks very similar to the Lunchly uh logo if you go and look at the two of them together and then in the link in the description he actually has a, a, a vapely.org link so it's linking to a website but it doesn't actually link to a website at all it links to rick astley is never going to give you up so he just rick rolls you at the very end of it if you actually decide to click on the link very funny i thought this was absolutely hilarious and i really wasn't going to talk about it but then when he posted the video and i was dying laughing to watching it the whole time i just knew that i had to say something about it because it just not only just to talk about how immature logan was being the entire time with showing private messages between the two of them and not actually privately talking with Tommy in it in the first place like he probably should have done but then the whole like video that Tommy in it had posted just making fun of all these fucking shitty YouTubers making shitty products and yeah I thought it was really funny so yeah that's pretty much all I really want to say about the entire situation I thought it was absolutely hilarious Logan is continuing to keep making himself look like an absolute moron and an absolute idiot and making himself look even worse by just continuing to respond to all this BS being said about him when he could probably just completely ignore it and completely just like talk about the stuff with people privately if he is really that hurt by it. Same thing with KSI, still talking about Dan TDM and now going on his Instagram and crying about how people don't like his song and yada yada. It's fucking stupid. Uh, anyways, that's pretty much all I've had to say about the situation. I want to really quick, at the very end of the video, give a shout out to the members on the channel, which is Page360 so far. He's the only member on the channel. I would really 
appreciate if you guys consider joining the memberships. I would really appreciate it. It would mean the world to me. I also want to give a shout out at the very end of the video to Pedro because he has his own YouTube channel and I think his videos are super great. I have a lot of fun going into his live streams on Twitch. So go check out his Twitch channel as well. Uh, he makes really amazing videos. I think his videos are super entertaining, super funny, and super well edited. And he did a giveaway yesterday at the time we were recording this. He did a giveaway of Dragon Ball Sparking Zero and I actually won it. I participated in it just thinking that I wasn't really going to win it at all. Uh, but I won. I was one of the two people that won a copy of Dragon Ball Sparking Zero from Pedro. So I really want to say thank you, Pedro, for uh, give, gifting me a copy of Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. I, I, I really, 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 really do appreciate it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I really have to say. Uh, if you liked the video, be sure to like. If you want to see more, please be sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace. Drop that